Hi all and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a great day today. I'm just Kirat and in today's video, I'll be talking about letters of recommendation, also known as letters of evaluation or letters of reference. So this is for the ADEA CAPIT 2025 cycle and I will try my level best to explain you everything that you would need to know about letters of recommendation, how to request them, what exactly they are, and what role they play in making your you know chances of getting accepted uh, higher <laughs> to any college that you apply to so firstly let's talk about what exactly are letters of recommendation so what happens is that once you apply to the capit cycle schools go over your application and then they decide if you are good enough to be called for an interview okay and then once you're done with the interview you get accepted but to be able to check if you are good enough to be called for the interview because let's see as i have talked in my other videos for example a college gets 2000 applications but they have only 20 seats right so they would probably call 200 people for interview or 100 people for interview so out of that entire pool of 2000 applications they would need to shortlist your uh, entire you know application to the interview point and for that they require five things three letters of recommendation your cv and most importantly your statement of purpose or, or your sop so how uh, exactly letters of evaluation work is the schools like to know how you are as a person when seen from a third person's point of view like you know for example you I, I own a dental clinic and you worked with me and I was your employer now you want to join dental school then the schools want to know if you are a good person like what is your work ethic how are you as a person what are the kind of skills that you have so i would write a letter of recommendation from my end to the school stating that this and this person is so good they're good with this they're good with that and they demonstrate these qualities that i believe would you know make them a suitable candidate and so i recommend them for your advanced standing dds program okay now letters of recommendation can get very very tricky and why we will talk about them right now so how do you firstly how do you request these letters of recommendation once you make your capid profile you go to the evaluation section and over there you will find you can request up to three letters of uh, recommendation or evaluation so you will be just entering all of your contact details for the person who is going to give you the letter of recommendation now for example i am the dean of a college okay one of my students is applying to the ada cap and cycle so what will she do she will be putting up my email address and she will be putting up my contact details and shortly after that i will be getting an email from Capit, and they will be like okay can you please you know like this is the portal this is the link can you just submit your letter of recommendation over here so i will have to do it from my end so this is not something that you can do like you know you can't get a letter of recommendation and then submit it from your end in some cases you can do that when schools re require like more number of letters of recommendation we'll get to that too but the easiest and the most simplified way is to request it via the ADA CAPIT cycle, like the CAPIT portal. Now, according to the ADA CAPIT portal, you can request three official letters of recommendation or letters of, if sorry, evaluation. And uh, so how it goes about is now every person has a different scenario, different background, they come from a different country at the same time every school has a different requirement but on uh, on an average like most of the schools they require three letters of recommendation and for ada capit they usually say like you know again like this is subjective this depends on the schools that you're applying to it can change from school to school but on an average most people go for one letter of recommendation from one of the faculty one recommendation from the dean and a third letter of recommendation depending on your profile you either get it from another faculty from your school or you get it from an employer who ha whom you have worked with okay so it could be a dentist that you were working with it could be a dentist that you were probably shadowing or it could be um you know probably an employer like for example you were doing something not dentistry related 
but you were working in something like you know like you were working in a company you did your masters in health informatics or you did your masters in uh, public health dentistry right and or, or just like ma masters in public health so in that case one of the employers can also write a recommendation for you so this is like this is the standard now again this varies from profile to profile from school to school every school has a different requirement and everyone's profile is completely different so there you have to you know have a moment of self realization and you have to think on that that is this is this person a uh, person's letter of recommendation going to be useful to me or not and that brings me to the second point how do you choose people who will write you the letter of recommendation this is the most important thing i'll be very honest with you i thank god um like literally when i applied to adia capit all three people who wrote my letter of recommendation they were super nice super helpful very kind souls god bless them they were very nice because i applied towards the last uh, of the cycle uh, to some of the schools and i had very few days left uh, okay so so how it goes is you request a letter of recommendation from your end okay like you put in the contact details and then they get an email and they have to provide a letter of recommendation they have to upload it from their end so once that is done then your profile is complete so in my case i was towards the you know i was in the last few days of the uh, application cycle for some schools like nyu and i had really less time and my uh, mentors like all the people who wrote the letter of recommendation to me they were so nice and kind that as soon as i sent them the email within a week they you know it was difficult there were some national holidays but they went out of their way to actually do it for me in that short period of time but usually like 90% of the schools they don't do that okay sorry 90% of the people would not do that they would take their own time if there is a spring break or if they have um some national holidays some festivals then you know don't expect them to rush overnight and do it for you so that's why i would say when you're requesting letter of recommendation do it well in advance do it at least 15 days to a month before you actually plan to submit your application because you want to give your evaluators good amount of time to be able to write you a good letter of recommendation so that brings us to the next point choose people who would write the letter of recommendation to you very wisely people whom uh, you have had some kind of relation with or uh, you have worked under them they have guided you in something or you know they have been super nice to you they have taught you something really well you have volunteered for them people like that would be very you know kind and very nice and they would be writing a good letter of recommendation for you which is a very very strong very very strong document it is as strong as an sop okay i know a lot of people are not able to write their sops too and uh, they might have excellent profiles like you know when you talk to those people you're like wow she's such a nice person but your statement of purpose should speak you know for you and that is why it is a very very crucial document and in case you have uh, you you know struggling with writing your statement of purpose or your cv or letters of recommendation i have the source the ddsleep@gmail.com this is their email address you can reach out to dr pratik and he's very nice and he will be helping you out with the entire process okay now let's get back to the point now another thing that i would want to tell you is for letters of recommendation it again you know it depends from individual to individual some mentors like some evaluators they are so nice they would tell you that i'm happy to write a letter of recommendation for you but i'm a bit short on time okay so why don't you you know write me like a page of things that we uh, probably worked on together because i don't remember and then i would you know use that information to write the letter of recommendation for you again there are two different kinds of people there are some people who do that and then there are some people who say oh you don't need to do anything uh just send me the email and i know what you did under me so i will be writing a letter of recommendation myself so again you know there are two different kinds of people but for the former ones the ones who would request you to provide with um, you know provide them with all the information for the letter of recommendation so they can just 
uh, probably go over it and make some changes and if they feel it's fine they could submit it for that make sure when you submit your letter of recommendation to them or when you submit uh, something like a, a draft of all the activities that you have you know done together make sure it is the best document ever in this world and that is why i would also again want to reinforce if you are someone who doesn't have really good writing skills or if you need help or if you feel that you don't have the time the leisure of time to sit down and write yourself a good statement of purpose you can always seek help from the dbsleep at gmail.com dr prateek is there and he's always you know there to help you just shoot him an email and he will respond to you promptly now let's get back so the letter of recommendation once they write it they will be uploading it from their end and then once that up they upload it you will be seeing it on your capit profile that okay this document is done and now it is you know good to go now i can finally like submit my application now i had also received a lot of emails and so many dms asking me for another you know quick question and that was that some schools require more letters of recommendation than those three okay some schools have more requirements so how do we go about that okay so for that the schools that require more letters of recommendation on their capit portal also they would have an, an additional uh, like document uh, like sorry not document but an additional option to upload a document it would be called supporting documents or something i don't know schools change it from year to year and also depends on the school so you can always go to that option and upload an additional letter of recommendation now for example let's talk about indiana university Indiana University requires these three standard letters of recommendation that you upload for all schools but apart from that Indiana University also requires i think if i'm not wrong one or two more additional letters of recommendation from someone whom you have volunteered with or i think for someone with whom you uh, worked in, in an outreach or something like that so for that when you apply to indiana university on their application portal you will see specific options to upload an additional letter of recommendation so you can always go there and upload that okay so in short in short it is a very very crucial document make sure the people who are writing your letter of recommendation they you know they uh write it well you know them they are only going to write good things about you don't don't take a letter of recommendation from someone you barely had any experience with and they are probably not even like you know willing to write your letter of recommendation because if they delay it from their end if they delay uploading the document from their end it will delay your uh you know submission time like you you'll have more like you know you'll not be able to submit it quickly okay another question that i got now i just like glanced over my phone and i realized there was another question i got how long should the letter of recommendation be well it depends on the person who is writing the letter of recommendation and the amount of work you guys have done together if it is just the dean of your college you barely had any interaction with him or her over 5 years of your bds um they just they probably don't even know your name they just know you were a student like okay yeah she she was a student they don't know you properly or you know for example this happens a lot of times you have a certain dean and then the dean retires or moves to a different college and then you have a different dean while you need the letter of recommendation so in that case if the new dean you barely had any experiences with them you can you know stick to a page and a, like a page like one page letter of recommendation that is something that you can stick to because if you don't have anything uh you know much to uh, talk about then you can only talk about standard things like she was a good student or uh, she was attentive in class and she was good with her clinical work just things like that nothing very specific but if you're writing a letter of recommendation uh, sorry if you're getting a letter of recommendation from someone you'd probably you know worked on a big thesis like in your phd or in your masters program then it can be approximately one to two pages then you know that is something that how how long it could be it could be one one and a half or one to two pages but again one more important thing that i would want to reinforce here again and again is 
please do not use ai do not use chat gpt or do not use all of these things to write your letter of recommendation once schools see it every school receives around 2000 applications if your application your cv i'm sorry your sop and your letter of recommendation it mirrors to another candidate you are automatically wasting all of the money that you're you know putting in towards uh, your application towards your toefl towards your inbd everything because it has high chances of getting rejected so be very honest don't lie don't copy paste from you know from places don't use ai because ai generates a very random a very you know very like very uh very monotonous kind of a letter of recommendation everyone would use that everyone who uses chat gpt would get the same response okay so schools will know that so if you're not able to do it yourself don't be afraid to ask for help because asking for help and saving your one year of hard work and saving your uh, 2000 3000 dollars that you contribute towards your application your toefl everything it is much more worth it than wasting everything and having you know empty hands at the end of the cycle so that being said i hope you all have a great day if there is anything else that you would want to me to like talk about or make a video on please don't hesitate to comment it down below i will get back to all of you reach out to me on instagram if there is anything else and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye